Hi and welcome back to this second series. Now we are going to take our menu application and we are going to try and break it down into different layers. So the idea is still just making a simple customer application in my, um, in my case, but you guys could use this exact same architecture for any application out there that you want to build. And we are going to start out by just making an application that's still just with a basic UI that's going to be a console application still. We're going to add a business logic layer where we're going to add a bit of um, logic to how we'll grab data and save data and stuff like that. We're going to add a data access layer that's going to learn how or know how to connect and get data from a database. And in our case, the database will start out by being a fake database like we did in the last application, but then we're going to end up with an MS SQL database and using the NT framework in the end. So that's kind of the idea. So we're going to build this now inside our Visual Studio project in the next lesson. And I'm also at the same, when we do that, I'm going to start moving the old project into the new project. So you guys can kind of see where the different things kind of fit into this layered architecture. That's at least my goal and I hope that'll help you out. Then we're going to extend the application because right now it's boring. You can only save and load customers. I want more. I want like maybe products, maybe um, orders, something like that to make the basic product order customer situation that you will run into in some point in your in your time and that application we're going to have a look at uh, how we can actually structure our application so that we'll get some information in the business logic layer that can then grab and save and work with customers and orders so that's what we're going to aim at next lesson let's start out by just setting this up in visual studio and uh, start building our new projects see you next time